Riyadh, the club's first ever Champions League final. It's been an eventful, wonderful night. Sum it up for us. Yeah, yeah, it was a very good game. We didn't start good again. I don't think we we had a very good uh, first half, but we scored the goal. And then we was uh, we was more comfortable after the goal. And second half, I think we played very good. Uh, we had a lot of chances. We could score more. And then they, they lose. Their, they lost their, 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 their nerves and they start kicking us. And yeah. it was good. They had a red card. And it was uh, after it was more comfortable for us. But take a bow for your contribution. Two goals. The counter-attacking football worked perfectly. It was that was the game plan, obviously? No, I don't think it was the game plan. But obviously, uh, they had to to come at us. So maybe sometimes we was a bit deeper, and then. They lose the ball. We are good at, uh, in counter as well, and that's what that's what the two goal how the, the two goal was, and we were happy. The first goal was sensational. It, Edison's long pass is, was that planned? Or was that just yeah, a moment? Of course, <laughs> Ederson, You know, we know he's capable to put the ball uh, till uh, the other goal, and it's something we work all the time. And today he worked good, so it's good. And you defended as a team as well. It was a real foundation for the no, captain. Of course, when when you you play semi final of Champions League, the, you have to be solid. Everyone has to defend. Everyone has to contribute for, for 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 the. The defensively and that's what we did. I think we, we was very solid today, didn't concede much and that's why we win the final. Um, and what a season, Premier League is in, is in touching distance, you got the League Cup, now it's the Champions League final at the end of the season, it's fantastic isn't it? Yeah, it's good, we have to win, uh, <laughs> we have another game Saturday, we have to win to be champion I think and then uh, and then we are, we're going to concentrate on the, on the final of the Champions League. Yeah, uh, good for uh, Riyad Mahrez, terrific performance from him. Joe, I didn't get the chance to get your answers to your, to your emotions for Manchester City making it to the final. Look, it's a huge moment. Um, I touched on it in the first leg, this club. Um, you know, people say it hasn't got history on, on the European level. No, it hasn't, but it's got history of a, a real soul to this club. Um, lots of people who've been through an awful lot, been through the divisions, been through the highs, been through the lows, you know, but they've stuck together. Main Road, 30,000, the old um, old Division 3, right to this moment now. And, you know, it's a process and I'm really, really pleased. And I'm really pleased for the fans, people that I'm, I'm very close with. You know, I've lived in Manchester a long time now. Uh, it's a huge moment and it's, and it's fully deserved. It's fully deserved, but it's not done yet. It's not done yet. This is not a club now that wants to get to finals. This is a club that wants to win finals. It wants the medals. It's want, it wants the honours. And they're creating their own history now. Yeah, they are, and they're doing it in a fantastic manner. The way that they're playing football, it's enjoyable to watch. Listen, I'm not a Man City fan, everyone knows that, but <laughs> I enjoy watching them play football, I have yeah. to be honest. And Mares, Foden on the other side, Sterling when he plays, and you've got the likes of De Bruyne, De Silva, Gundogan. There's just fantastic footballers to watch, and the interchange, the, the fluidity with which they play, it's just total, total football. Yeah, it's gorgeous to watch, and you're, you're smiling. You've been smiling ever since. <laughs> Too much of my life. Since the same goal went in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just Said, um, you know, said it's great to watch but obviously he's a long time coming um, when I, I was lucky enough to join this club the, the ownership group talked about these moments and now they're here so I'm sure they're proud of the, the occasion as well but yeah there's a lot of hard work behind the scenes and we could see that how much it meant to Riyadh but I'm sure they want to get to yeah. the final and finish you, the job. We've both been a part of this incredible journey of Manchester City was was this was what was promised is this what you sense was coming? Yeah, for me it was. When I signed at the, uh, for the club, it was talk, talked about and I just didn't believe it would happen as quick as it did. Um, they told about winning trophies and the, the Champions League and, and the Premier League and you're like, yeah, OK, I'd love to be a part of it. Will it happen in the time frame they, they said and suggested? And, and it has. And as I said, there's a lot of people that have worked hard to get to this point. Obviously, there's been huge investment in the club as well. Yeah, that has to be said. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, it goes, <laughs> it's obvious you have to invest to succeed in, in, in the footballing game. But, um, you know, Joel talks about the leadership group. I signed in 2006. They wanted to finish in the top half of the, of the table. That was like, <laughs> that was yeah. the plan. That was the plan for Manchester City. Um, you know, then Sinawatra came in and a lot of people thought that something was coming. Um, you know, that, that, that ended how it ended. Um, and then a, another takeover happened, the Abu Dhabi group. Okay, here we go, and other people chucking money at But no, they've done it properly. They've built, they've built the foundations. They've built into the community. Uh, and they've built into the... The, the real spirit that Manchester City has as a, as a club and and they've also put a lot of money into it and bought a lot of quality. They the bought a lot of quality, they bought a lot of quality players was perhaps the most important ingredient in this recipe for success 
been getting Pep Guardiola? 100%. I think they 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 started putting that into place with the people behind the scenes who are from Barcelona, who are friends of Pep, who have worked with him before. He comes at a later date and the club's whole philosophy and ethos and the way that they play football totally changed. It wasn't overnight. It was a plan. It's, it's, it's here. It's, it's bearing fruits now. But it's, yeah. it's took them time. And one of the standout players has been someone they've not had to invest any money in. It's been Foden, who's come through the ranks here. Mm. And that's a real, real big, big beacon for them of light. Mm. For the young players in the, in, in, in the youth system, there's a pathway now to the first team for the young players as well, which is also as important, if not more sometimes, than recruiting from out. Manchester City 3-1 on aggregate and uh, Pep will be delighted with that at half time I imagine delighted tactically perfect I think they've executed what he's, he's definitely planned for them without the ball they've been tight they've been compact hard to break down with it they've been expansive and the likes of Foden, Mares, De Bruyne have really excelled in this first half I think they've been head and shoulders the better team yeah, uh, once again, so important to, to get a lead in a game like this, uh, Joe, and it came quite early. Great counter-attack and a goal. great ball from a goalkeeper. <laughs> Look, that's, uh, that's not normal what he's done there, let me, let me tell you that. <laughs> that's off one step, you know, <laughs> he's capable of it. He, he's put it on a sixpence for uh, Zinchenko. Obviously, I think we're all thinking Zinchenko's scoring here, but that's great follow-up from Riyad Mahrez through the keeper's legs. What a moment, you know, a bounce pass, one, two. Yes, it's on. Yes, it is on. We all see yeah. that now, but to, to execute that at the highest level is... I think that's planned. Yeah. That's, that's something they've worked on, I think. Definitely. The fact that he's starting so high in that attack, he's recognised the space, and for whatever reason, the fullback's gone short with, I think it's Foden, and then when they're in behind you like that, it's devastating. It, it, they set up before, as well, before this goal actually was scored, there's a clip, we've got another clip we'll probably show at the end of the game. Almost identical to that. Zinchenko very, very high. Yeah. Walker slightly deeper, and it was on. It was definitely on, and something that's definitely been planned before the game. Uh, PSG have had a go. There's no question about that. They know they've got to score goals, and they've really gone for it. It's not quite happened for them yet, but they've been close on a couple of occasions, Jolie. Yeah, Marquinhos here, exceptional leap, and you can see he just wanted it more than anyone. You can see as soon as he was coming in the box, he was making himself available, and it's a great header. Um, unfortunately, he didn't go in, but again here as well, he, he rushed from from Edison, um, best and worst of him this half in, in that instance, but Di Maria has to hit the target. I think That's the good. only complaint that Pep will have from the first half was they were the creators of their own problems a lot of the time. They were being slack sometimes in possession, giving away a few loose balls that give up yep. opportunities to this PSG team. If they tighten up, I don't see them being a problem second half. Yep. No, they're looking good. Yep, they're, they're surrounding Neymar, they're dealing with him, they're, they're sending them wide. And Marquinhos is the only threat, so unless they're going to rip him up from centre-half, City are going to deal with him.